Hello everyone, it's Hudson here and in today's video we're going to be talking about three ways to travel with kids. Before we get to that, I really need to have your support. In order for us to keep doing this and get into your questions and everything, please subscribe below and like the comments. Also, if you have any sort of doubts, please write. I'm sure we will answer any kind of questions. Let's get to the video. The, the three types of steps that we're going to be talking about is firstly to travel with kids in a car. After that, to travel in the kids with an RV. What is an RV? RV? Those are these motor homes or these coaches, you know, just those campers. And lastly, we will talk at the third point, traveling with kids with an airplane. Well, so let's start with the car. I had the opportunity to, to, to build a family in quite a young age, as I was 26. And for us, we had to take our kids wherever we go. In order to do that, it always starts with a very young age. So as we had our first child, that was Noemi, our daughter, we started putting her in the car once she was like 12 days. It was kind of crazy because as she was born, just as we got her birth, she directly went to the car and we took her home with her first day in Earth. And I think the most important thing is for you to really pay attention to your children. So once he got, she got this opportunity to go with the car, she was um, very, very young and we always need to respect her needs, right? So I still can remember the first time that we went out just for dinner or something and we always had to see how she would react. And the most important thing was we would be driving with her safety, safety seat down there and once she started to cry, we would immediately stop the vehicle. My wife would go to her and we will feed her or we will trust her. We would just be close to her so she would stop. So the first step to do so, to travel with children in a car, is just to forget anything else, the time, the, 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 the occasion or every, everything must be directed to her. And that helped quite a lot because once you're going um, to different places and you're just like going with, with your children, you, you really need to, to set, her, set the steps directly to her. And we just chose to leave in the night. Okay, we're in Germany, so here's another infrastructure and we always have the, 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 best, the best streets out there. But in order to be, have a safe and quiet trip, we just organized ourselves to be leaving like 20 in the afternoon, so 20 p.m., 8 p.m. That allow us to her to sleep, and once she's sleeping, you can perfectly drive. You are only able to put your children on the back seat once she is used to it. This will not happen in a short term. This will not happen if you're willing to do so and she's not used to it. This will not happen if you're just paying attention or priorities to other things. You need to take this step very slowly. So put her in the car, drive for a few blocks, Go around and see how, she, see how she or he reacts. If they start crying, you immediately just suit her needs and be there. But I truly, I truly advise that if you do this slowly and paying attention to her needs, I'm sure that will work out. So we, we talked about the, the first point. We'll talk to the second point. This is the RV. Well, firstly, if you, do not ha if you haven't had the opportunity to travel with such a car, it's quite amazing because you have a hotel room on the road, better said, in four wheels. So you're able to go everywhere, you're able to cook inside, you're able to put your drinks or beverages, and you're even able to sleep in there. So as a family experience, it's quite delightful because you are able to be on different places and enjoy the nature enjoy the road and even enjoy the family experience that's what's the most important right because you're taking your vacations or you're outside of the work or even spending time with your children that now is out of school or out of the kindergarten and you will spend time with them so this get together in an rv is quite fantastic what it really caught my attention was we had the opportunity to go down to switzerland so we're in germany we traveled down to switzerland and our target was Rome, Italy. And we found a place called, um, a, a place for the RV where you're able to park. <laughs> and how crazy it was, it was even able for you to, of course, use the bathroom, um, buy beverages or even um, breakfast, 
and even take a shower with music. So the place was amazing, was really nice, and for us was quite a, a great opportunity. Also, once you are traveling with them, please make sure you take things for them to draw, things for them to watch or hear. I mean, my daughter even has a very old fashioned um, Walkman and she hear all the German and the English songs because my, as, as, my, as I was educated, we give all our children everything in English for them to, to hear or even to take some snacks, right? So the children is going to be on a very long time on the road and they just need something to get passed by, just to have some entertainment with you. Of course, everyone has, in a, has, a, has a mobile or tablets or everything. Those things do help, but please make sure that you keep up, keep track on the time, right? We don't want our kids just watching the entire time with such a device. Um, but the most important thing about kids traveling in our RV is make sure that they are aware, right? You just tell your children, okay, here, we're going to go through this. We're going to sleep here. Just make sure that they are aware of everything information communication once they they know they will be way more with you or, or they will participate more and i think that's quite important and the last point i would just get there that's the most important one but before that please if you enjoy our video if you are willing to see more of our content please subscribe please like please leave a comment if you have any specific doubt about anything that you comes up to, to your mind about traveling with kids, please let us know. And every time that we travel, we're taking them with us. So this said, let's go to the airplane. Well, honestly, if you hear airplane, you will be asking, whoa, that's going to be a, a huge challenge. It is not. It is actually the easiest way for you to travel with children. And why is that? Well, you only need to take care or pay attention to two steps. That's when the airplane is taking over and that's when the airplane is going to land, right? Those are the two steps that you must share that you buckled up and that the children is well set. After that, everything will be very smoothly. You gotta see that the children is, I will never go with the airplane if he's not used to, to traveling with a car or even to be some time outside of home. That's very important. And of course, we will talk about the rage of the age, right? The, the, the precise age of the child, the child. But once you are in an airplane, or even once you booked a rise with an airplane, you are able to bring your strollers all the way to the airplane. So this is quite useful. You're going to be carrying your child into the board of the airplane. And once you get there, I mean, into the airplane itself, you just give, give your kid, you can fold your stroller, you will leave it there and the, the flight attendants will take care of it. They will put somewhere where you, as soon as you get your target, they will unfold it and give it to you. Before that, something that really makes me happy is traveling with small children allows you to use the priority um, lane. That means once you go into the safe procedures that you take in every airport, you are dealing with a child, you would always have priority. You always be set aside and that will make things very easy. I also experienced the last that firstly you have always had to, to throw away the liquids that you have according to such an amount but this time as we mentioned that this is for our children they actually checked as the, all the procedure says and they gave us back to us so traveling with a child once you have something to drink something to eat and in a stroller it's not going to be very complicated once you made inside the machine you got to tell your attendants or before that it would be very useful to let, let the, the travel travel agency or the airplane agency that you're traveling with a child in its age right or her or his age and once you have their age you're going to be helped and according to the age of the children once you are inside you are even able to get a place it looks like a shell or a small bed where the children is uh, allowed to sleep inside of course, those shells, they have to be set in a place on the airplane. So you're going to have even a better seat to do so. And they, they, they will help you. Other than that, please notice, as I mentioned to the two procedures, take off and landing, you will have to have your children on the arm and there is, and there is a precise seat belt that you, can that you can match up to them. But usually once you are, once you are once you've set foot on the airplane, they're going to help you immediately. That was, that was the experience that we summed up. And also, 
once you have the children and once they're buckled up and they're on your feet, on, on your hand, you also be asking, yeah, Hudson, but I'm really wor worried about hearing because we get the pressure. Do not they get their pressure? Yes, they do. But we've been to two doctors re reminding this. And the most important thing was they tell us to take a, a, something for him to put in the mouth, the schnulli. I don't know the German, the German language now, but I will put it up here once I have it. And they will be putting something in their mouth so they're able to have this, this um, they will be swallowing it. So it won't touch their hearing at all. So you do not need to worry. The small kids are already, already um, used to this. Well, this said, I think you're now ready to go. If you have any, any other question or if you want to let us know how was your experience or if, I, if we went all through the steps that we mentioned, please mention below. If you like, leave a like and subscribe. Thank you very much. See you soon.